Hello everybody. This is another installment of the 3 and 30 alphabet challenge. Today is letter C for cardboard and I am doing going to do some packaging as my cardboard. I've got uh, a cereal, cereal box that I have cut up and I also have this um, packaging box that I have opened up and can use. So this is a nice lightweight one. This is a little bit thicker, um, uh, but I didn't want to go too thick because my my cutting utensils uh, don't work all that well on super, super thick stuff. So I do have a little bit of a plan. I want to make some tabs. Now this tab I have a lot of trouble with. Um, it just does not cut through anything thicker than um, scrapbooking cardstock. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to use this one because somebody, I don't know who it was, somebody came up with a brilliant way of making, oh dear, faux whale, whale tail punch tabs. So I'm going to make a couple of these. I've got to stand up and lean on it because it is just oof, not cutting through. Maybe I have to sharpen that. Oh, it's almost there. Hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see if I can line it up again. There. Nope. Does not want to cut, cut through there. All right. I think I could probably use the lines and finish cutting. Myself. Oh, it's funny. I tried it earlier on this and it worked. All right, I'm going to pop those aside for a second and see, because I need to cut the sides out. I'm going to see if it'll work better on some of this packaging. I think this is a little bit thinner. Oops, that one's torn. Can I get one out of that? Yeah, I can get one out of that. No, that's not real. Oh, that one worked. Yeah, that's working better. Okay, so to do a whale tail card after that, you just have to nibble out a little bit of the sides. And then and I just eyeball it. And then when you fold it up, you have a pretty good uh, whale's tail tab. So there's one. And then here's the other. See, I can nibble off that little bit right there. And I'm kind of lining it up against these two little dots in here to try and be consistent in from side to side. And then I can, oh, that one came out really well. Fold it over. And if you want, oh, oh I forgot to start my timer. Sorry, guys. Oh, all right, well. I'm going to have to end a little bit early if I'm going to be totally honest there. Um, so I can just round off those corners just a little bit. And I like that. I like that very much. So to finish these guys off, I'm going to cover them in some paper. Neaten that up a little bit. And I did grab, make, I printed out some stuff and I have some book pages here and I have some uh, nautical chart here. And I think what I'll do is I will use the nautical chart. See, I'm going to fold it like this side because I think it'll grab onto this side better. So I'm going to do it down like that. So let's use a little Fabri-Tac. <laughs> I'm 
and I'll just line those both up and then I will cut them out. This is the fabric tack that won't die. It just keeps going and going and going. I'll get the word horseshoe on that. So I'm kind of going kind of nautical themed today because uh, I thought I would start making stuff to use in a journal that I have planned in the f near future to do, which will be a um, seabird journal. And then I'm just going to cut around the outline of the cardboard. And there we have one. And here we have another. And I think I'm also going to put in a grommet, but I think I'm gonna do it just on one side. So it won't go through both sides like I did the last one. Um, I'm not sure how that will work. I might have to use a little bit of twine rather than uh, jump ring. But let's see how that works. Okay, so let me get my crocodile. Excuse my head. Okay, crocodile on the teeny tiny. And I'm just going to, let's see, this will fold like that. That'll stick out. So I need it to go through one of these sides right here. Probably this will be the front because it has the blue. Like that. And then that will we'll fold like that. And that will be the front because it has the blue. And I'll put it right next to that 22, that depth. Okay, to the end. And I'm gonna get some shiny brass ones. And I pop that in there. And then I squish it down. And then I squish again. That just seems to work really well. And then I could probably uh, put some twine to hang it from right there but I don't know what kind of twine or how I'm gonna want to do that yet so all right so there are two whale tail tabs ready to go for a journal so that is going to count as my first thing so that's one all right second I pre-cut this. So again, I use a cereal box and um, I know that my next journal is needs to fit inside these covers. So I thought I would do a little um, folder to go in there. So the first thing I want to do is glue over this and I grabbed out some tea dyed paper. So I'm just going to glue this down. on here. Okay. So that will be the inside. I'll also decorate the outside, but that will be my inside so that when you open the folder, uh, 
um, the inside of the folder could actually also be journaled on. And it covers up that um, Keebler Elf, Coco Crispy Elves, whoever they are. Okay. In the stash. Okay, and also I have some stamps here. And I was thinking it might be nice to have a little stamp surprise inside inside that folder. So let me do that real quick. Uh, let me see. Will this octopus fit? I love, love, love. So these are Stampers Anonymous. Um, Tim Holtz collection. It's Sea Life CMS 304. Love these stamps. Uh, yeah, he'll fit. He'll fit. Uh, I don't know where my large block is. Oh, here it is. Ha-ha, found it. Awesome. All right. So, I have him. Just like so. Uh, ha! Excellent. Uh, oh, my weights just fell. It just seems like when I'm doing these 30 minute ones, I get a little fancy because I'm trying to get it all done in time. Off. Okay, set it aside over here for now. Okay, so now I need to do this side. I'm going to save that. I had. This bivalve, um, well, you know what I have? I've got this leaf. Oh, oh, it doesn't quite fit. That's sad. All right, maybe I will use this then. Oh, but then that takes that compass rose. Will that? Fit? Oh, it just fits. Look at that. Oh, that's a good side too. All right, maybe I'll do it down on this side. Oh, but then I'll miss the rose. I don't want to miss the campus rose. I think I'll save that for the other thing I have planned and I will do it like this. And that way I'll get all this shoreline, okay? So that's the plan. I'm gonna lube that up again with glue. Right up to the edges. I'm at the end, I wanna show you. I made another button thing after we were done the other day. Is that just yesterday? Uh, because I was having so much fun with the buttons and bells. Line the straight edges up. Okay, excellent. journal I'm putting, I'm sorry, focusing, it's going to be seabirds, but it's going to be coastal nautical as well. It's not going to be just seabirds. Okay, so there we have our cardboard covered in chart. 
This is a Falmouth, Massachusetts. And now I'm going to use this tab board. This tab board sometimes gives me fits. I think I have it figured out. Um, so I want this right hand one. So I'm going to line it up with one of these lines here. Short, medium, long. I think I'm going to line it up there. Oh, I cut his little head off. Oh, that's sad. All right, and then I gotta flip it over and line this edge up with this outline, and that's how long the tab will be. And then this thing here is designed to cut this thing off, but I don't use it, I just do that. Okay, so that's one tab, and then I want another tab to go right there. I mean, you can just cut that bit off, but I kind of want the other tab, the look of the other tab. So I need it to be just about there. And then I'm going to line this one up. That. Ooh, that came out cute and I'm gonna snip this off like that and there we have a tab and when you open it up on the page you'll have a little octopus surprise in there Okay, so maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'll stamp that one or not. Um, and I may wind up putting a little grommet hole in there as well in one of those, but I'll wait until I know, until I'm closer to doing it. I think I'm going to round this one off just a smidge. All right, so I've got a folder, I've got some tabs, and now, what time is it? 15 minutes or so. Um, what I really was looking forward to doing, um, put this away, that away, is I wanted to do, put this away, a raggedy. Um, wanted to do a raggedy for a while. I don't know. I'll get to get to finish the whole thing. It seems like I'm short on time. Is this the one I cut? Or is this the one I cut? This is the one I cut. So again, this is Cocoa Krispies packaging from my son's cereal box. And I want to be able to stick this in the book and have all kinds of things sticking out over the pages, but I want to leave the center bit kind of smooth so that um, you can stick it behind a page that has embellishments in it and write on it as like a, a hard board. So I definitely want this compass rose. Maybe I'll put that compass rose down in there. And I have this piece of paper that has the um, seaweed bits on it. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I'll just do, cut this bit off the bottom. like that. And then I also have, uh, I printed out some seaweed. I printed some on tracing paper, kind of like that. 
printed some on tracing paper, and I printed some on uh, cardstock. I don't think we used the cardstock, but so this is basically kind of like a messy collage, and I have some fibers and things that I'll use as well. So let me get some of this stuff stuck down, and I'm not going to trim it off the outer edges, but I will trim it off these edges, or maybe just maybe just this edge because this can stick out all over the book. So glue. Um, let's use this. So many glue choices these days. So I hope you guys are all doing well. It's actually a very sunny, cold day here in Massachusetts. Um, I hope... I uh, wonder if any of you are doing, trying this challenge. It took me a while to gather up the nerve to do it, but it is very fun. Really enjoying it. Okay, so, ah, my bits. All right, I definitely want, I'm just gonna hold this up a bit so that I can see the, oops, there we go. I want to be able to see where the compass rose is landing because that's the part that I really want, this right here. Okay, and then I wanted this. Oh, I think I'm gonna to have to get out a glue book. I've got so much stuff here that my gluing books I don't have enough room. Okay, so I definitely want this here to go on there. And I like the jagged edge of the other side as well. Maybe that will hang off. Okay, so this I want to just cover that. Yes, I know I have to, but I still have to cover this side too, so that will be okay if it's a little gluey. Um, and maybe I will use, I can think about what I'll use. Oh, you know what? I have straw paper. Maybe I'll use some straw paper for this side. And then it can be journaling space in and of itself. Don't you know? This seems to be needing a little bit of gluing right there. Okay, so I am going to do it like that. And then and I'll just tear. covered that way and let's see I think I'll tear off some of this bottom bit will have to get torn as well because that is going to be the part that tucks into the corner of the book. Okay. Alright, so now 
where is it? My goodness, this half an hour goes by so, so quickly. I think I'm going to need to have to put something on there because, here, maybe I'll put some of this on there because I've made it sticky. It's picking at my hair. Okay. So let's just hand hair. ink it up. Okay, so now I also want to put some of this um, this is the uh, seaweed that I I bought the file from Etsy um, and it was a new Etsy store that I hadn't used before and I can't remember what it is now um, I think I'm going to tear that little bit off so it can go in the opposite direction than that. So the other direction there. And um, I'm going to tear this and glue that up and put that down. So I did that technique when you print on uh, tracing paper where you washi tape it to a piece of cardstock and you send them both in through the printer together. And it worked pretty well. Um, my inkjet doesn't really like this tracing paper very much, so there were some streaks. So I have to figure that out. But it came out all right, nonetheless. It looks very seaweedy to me, being kind of, kind of see-through. There we go. See, you can see the words about seaweed and algae through that tracing paper. I like that. And I'm gonna have to use my gluey scissors because that's gluey. And I will cut around there. Okay, how are we doing? Five minutes. Okay, let's see. I also have a whole bunch of fibers and things. And I pre-made these also to hang. Oh, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I want a tab. Do I want a tab? I want a little tab overhanging right there. And then I can have a dangle off of that tab doesn't feel like there's anything solid there. Yeah, that's all gotten, ooh, that's all gotten very, very long in the tooth, hasn't it? Oh dear. Hmm. Let's see, well, I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out later. Um, I'll do that. I'll do that later. So I'm not gonna do a tab. I was thinking about doing a tab, but I guess I'm not gonna do a tab. Um, I need some more embellishments down here. I have some of this. Yeah, that's okay. Some of that seaweed. And go on here. Now I'll do it this side and then cut it. OK. 
Okay, so there's some red algae to go with my blue-green algae. Yeah, that ink is just not staying. Does not like the tracing paper very much. I don't know what to do about that. A little bit of stickiness right there. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. I have too much stuff out. Kind of looks like sand. bottom. Alright, so if I really honestly take into account the time that I didn't have going at the beginning, that's probably my 30 minutes done. So I obviously am going to continue to work on this, um, but that's my one. This is my other, my two little um, whale faux whale tail tabs with grommet holes and then my folder for this journal as well. I might I might stick some now that I'm thinking about it some of this leftover seaweed onto there. We'll see. We'll see. But so that's my 3 and 30. Oh, I wanted to show you I'm keeping all of the things that we make during this in this little bin. And I did make um, another one of these buttons. Uh, this is a paper, altered paper clip. And this is actually a button with a shank. It's a metal button with a shank that I found. And then I found these three orange buttons that looked a lot like the orange, kind of burnt umber orange that's in that butterfly. This is a Tracy Fox butterfly. So I made that one um, after we finished. And then I added to this one, this little butterfly. It's taking a really long time for this glue to go clear in here, but it did go clear in this one. And I just wrapped this little bit of green trim around and I put a, I can't remember if I did that during or not. I kind of finished that one up. This one also is almost done drying, but it's taking a very long time for that glue to go clear. I think I added this after we finished. Um, this one stayed as is, I believe. And then this one, I don't know if you can really see, but it looks so cool when you hold this up to the light and you can see through that window and through the petals of the flower. And then there was this one. I think I added the bell after. I can't remember if I finished this one on screen or not. Um, this is, these are, don't belong in there. That's we're supposed to go in the trash. And then there was, oh, this tab. And I think after I finished, I decided it would go in this direction. And I added it needed something else. So I just added that little bit of fabric. Oh, my timer's going off. Okay, so that is my 3 and 30 letter C for cardboard. Next up is E. And I know that um, Sha uh, Tina did embossing, E for embossing, and I don't have any embossing tools in any way, shape, or form. So I think I'm going to do E for envelope. So I hope you all have a lovely day and are well and enjoying your crafting. Bye-bye.